Let's look at the forces acting on an object on an inclined plane. Um, concept zero is that gravity is going to act straight down on this object. Okay. Now, this is not a terribly convenient direction because it's not perpendicular to the plane, but it's not parallel to the plane. So what we do in these types of problems is we figure out the amount of this force. This is m times g, right? whereas this thing's got a mass of m. right? Uh, we figure out how much of it is parallel to the plane. Some amount of that is parallel to the plane. Right? And some amount of it is actually perpendicular to the plane. Let's see if I can draw that. It's very hard to draw. Okay, there's a right angle right there. This is the hypotenuse. This side here I just call the parallel component. Okay? And it is, it, these angles here are congruent, that angle and this angle. And so um, that side there is the opposite side. So this is the hypotenuse, which is mg times the sine of the angle. And this makes sense that it's sine because, of course, if, if the angle here was zero, that is, this, this floor was level, there would be no component parallel to it. And the sine of the angle of zero is zero, right? So that, that's why we, in our houses, have an angle of zero. We have level floors because um, we don't want things to slide along our floor, right? Okay, unless we're filming the movie The Exorcist. That's, that's generally not a good thing, right? So. This side here um, is, I call this the perpendicular side, right? This, this component here, okay? And that's going to be mg cos of the angle, okay? So this is, th this is what we've got. This thing generally um, uh, acts as, or gives rise to the normal force, okay? So usually that's what the normal force is, and we use this to calculate friction. So the surface is actually going to push back, right, with some force equal and opposite to this guy. This force is just going to be a force acting down the plane. It's always a player in one of these things. It's an unrelenting force acting down the plane. This thing gives rise to friction. Okay? Now, when you get an inclined plane problem, you bust this guy out, you bust this guy out, and then you use this force. If there's no other force acting perpendicular to the plane, you use this as the normal force, and you bust out the forces of friction. And I'll show you that in the, the next giant example that you have the note guide for.